I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question based on linear systems. It's related with distance, speed, and time. The question here is: Anil drove 255 kilometers from Toronto to Algonquin National Park in 3.75 hours. He drove part of the way at 100 kilometers per hour, and the rest at 60 kilometers per hour. Find the distance he drove at each speed. Now, these kinds of questions, which are related to distance, speed, and time, we should know the relation between distance, speed, and time, which can be remembered with the help of a triangle. Right. So we know distance d is speed into time. So that is the relation. Second part. To solve such a question, I prefer to make a table. Now here is a small table which will always help you to solve any question related to distance, speed, and time. So we'll actually translate the information. We say distance, and distance is in kilometers in this question. Uh, speed. Speed will be in kilometers per hour. Time is in hours. Now we are given two different conditions here. One is the speed of hundred kilometers per hour. The other one is sixty kilometers per hour. Correct. So these are the two conditions. So we can write here that it is a part generally in these two. So we are given speed. Let me write down the values in the table. So we are given 100 kilometers per hour as one speed. The other one is 60 kilometers per hour. And what else are we given? We are actually given total distance and total time. So let me call this column as total. So here we are given total distance of 255. And total time of three hours. I should write three point seven five hours, right? Three three fourth. That is to say, three three fourth. Do you understand? So fifteen minutes less than the fourth hour. That's what it means. Okay. Now the idea here is that how to choose my variables. If I choose variables x and y for distance, in that case, I get time as distance divided by speed. You get the idea, right? So what I do here is I choose a variable x and y for time, not for distance. Do you see the trick involved? So the key here is to use the variable here for time. In that case, I know that the distance will be how much? Product of speed and time is distance. So we get this distance as 100x, and the other distance is 60 times y. Do you see that? So now we get different equations to work with. One set of equation is right here, which tells you that total time. Is x plus y, so we could write one equation as x plus y equals to 3.75, and the second equation which you get is right here, which is 100x plus 60y. Equals to two hundred fifty-five. Do you see that part? Both these equations do not involve fraction, so that is what we have done in doing so: avoid fractions. Did you see that? No fractions. At times, if you define x and y as distances. Then you'll get time in fractions, and you'll be working with numbers which are difficult to work with. So we have got two equations. Let me call them as equation one and equation two. 
To solve, what should we do? Simple. Let's multiply the first equation by 100. So what we get here is 100x plus 100y is equals to 375. And we get this equation as our equation number 3. Now, to solve, we can just take away one from the other. So we'll do equation 3, take away equation 2. And what do we get? 100x, 100x cancel. And here we get 40y equals to 375 minus 255, which is equal to 5 take away 5 is 0, 7 take away 2, 5 is 2, and 3 minus 2 is just 1. And so we get y equals to 120 divided by 40, which is 3. So we get time 3 hours for y. Do you get the idea, right? So, so if y is 3 hours, what is x? x will be equals to... 3.75 take away 3, right? Since x plus y is 3.75, that is 0 0.75 or 3 fourth of an hour, correct? Once we know these times, which we just calculated, so we want found y equals to 3 and x we found as 3 fourths, right? 0.75, 3 fourths. We can now find the distances. Do you get it? So now, since we want to find the distances at each speed, so distance at, at 100 kilometers per hour is how much? X times 100, which is 0 0.75 times 100 or 75 kilometers, right? And distance at 60 kilometers per hour is how much is time taken y is 3 right so it is 60 times 3 which is 180 kilometers do you see that and now you can also check your result by adding them so if you add 5 plus 0 is 5 7 plus 8 is 15 and 1 plus 1 is 255 kilometers. Do you see that part? So we get our answer and that is distance traveled at 100 kilometers per hour is 75 kilometers, right? And that at 60 kilometers per hour is 180 kilometers. So that is a neat solution to such a question. So I'd like you to pause the video, try to understand how we totally avoided fractions to solve our equation, which could be difficult, right? So, what did we avoid? We avoid fractions, you know. If you define distance as x and y, you may land up with equations with fractions, which we avoided, right? So, so write equation for distance. So, what you, you have done is define time. time and avoid fractions. So that is my suggestion to solve such questions. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. You can also solve this equation by taking x and y as distances, right? Then you will see what I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.